Kenny Moore, who was brought up this week, a rookie for the Angel now over there. Welcome into uh, Tape with a Titan. We got Titans cornerback Kareem Moore with us today. Uh, appreciate you uh, giving us a little bit of your time and uh, yes, taking care of uh, these plays we got queued up. Of course, of course. We uh, of course. We, got, we got a couple plays we're gonna break down. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like we got uh, we we got three from the game and the Colts game, of course. You you know you okay. play a lot in that game, right. so we got a couple great plays from that. And we're gonna start off with one in the preseason against Philadelphia. Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're gonna start out start out in the preseason here. Uh, first game, actually, your first pro game. Yeah. Uh, the Eagles, uh, and we got you uh, lined up here in the slot. Uh, this mm-hmm. is uh, before you changed numbers. Before you got to uh, twenty, you were wearing thirty-two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, we got yep. you lined up here in the slot, uh, doing some uh, uh, coverage, and we we're just running here. Okay, yeah, I can tell where we in already. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back Let's to run the that back. All right. So here we go. We got uh we got some eleven personnel for the Eagles. Um, right. And you you're you're kinda lined up over the slot receiver. So uh, right. in here, what are you looking at? What's kind of your approach? Right. So based off our coverage right now, I know what my assignment is and what my alignment needs to be. So as we as we was running the play, you can see I stepped to the outside more because I know I'm supposed to be outside leverage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm shading him to the outside. And as he's running his route, I can as he coming, I can tell he's getting ready to try to stem it to go in, but then come back out on the seven. So now I know that right there I can put my hand on him and I can run with him. So I got I got him I got him exactly where I need him. Exactly where okay, I need so him. You, and then you're trying to force him inside back to your help defender. Right. 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 Yep. Because right. we got help. We got help in there. Okay. We got cutters, yeah. We call them, yeah. So tell me, what what gives away that he's stemming inside to set you up? Does he does he have a tell here that, that you're looking for that? Kind well, of it was just yeah. yeah. So so when I was when I was when we started the playoff from the beginning, from the alignment, I could tell how he pressed me coming off the ball that he was trying to take an inside release to do something. You know what I'm saying? It had to be something. But either way, it went. Him taking that inside release didn't matter to me because I know my leverage is outside. I'm outside leverage. So I could tell that he was trying to stem in to try to come back out on the seven. Okay. So how does your approach change? You you got a lot of snaps at the slot spot in uh, preseason, and then you play mostly outside uh, in the, the reps that we'll look at from the regular season. How does your approach change when you jump inside? Obviously, that's going to be a position that uh, I like will be getting a new guy in this year with Logan Ryan moving on. But uh, so, how does your approach change when you step inside to that slot spot? It's it's not nothing different. I mean, uh, so like you said, I was playing in the preseason, uh, had hopes of playing it in the season, but you know how great Logan Ryan is. So we had I just watched and learned from him. So hopefully this year, I know I got a shot at it. So I'm gonna be ready to try to go get it. Um, and then uh, how, when you're in, in coverage here, you know, you're trying to, as, as you said, he, he kind of tips his hand. He's, he's yeah. trying to set you up. He's trying to press you inside and then bring you back. Trying to, as you, because as you can see right here, we both like make a little hand connection. Yeah. And then we run into each other. You know what I'm saying? So I can tell like he's trying to come back outside. You know what I'm saying? So right here, we fighting it. And then we could, we collide. Right there, we collide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's no foul. You know what I'm saying? Because he came into me. So now we just turning and now we just playing ball. So that's yeah. how they do. Yeah. So how, how do you balance being physical at the top of the route with avoiding pass interference on something right. like that. You just uh, really, you, to be honest, uh, yards here, but, but you can you can get away with a little bit, right? Exactly. Yeah, you can get away with a lot. That's what I was just about to say, because like right there, it, it could it could have been called, but like you can get away with a lot, depending on how, how to, you know what I'm saying, the route, what's going on, what the receiver doing, the refs, <laughs> you know, with the, you know, the refs, man, they make a break you. Absolutely. So, do you guys get a scouting report? Speaking of that, do you get a scouting report on the refs? You know, as far as pass interference calls and stuff like that from the coaches during the week, or is that something? Absolutely. That, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, we just, we just know, we just know what what crew coming in. You know, like what Coach Brable will tell us what crew coming in. That's about it. Yeah, he he seems pretty clued in on on the tendency. Yeah, <laughs> he's all about Brable, a real players coach. I love Brable. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you do a great job here. You know, you. It's, I guess it's all about disrupting the timing, right? So that's what I'm saying. Yep, that's all it is. His break here and makes makes quarterback hold the ball a little bit. And exactly. He throws it, you know, 
nowhere near where, where his uh, receiver ends up. So, you know, how much of that is uh, is going through your mind while you're playing, or are you just reacting? Uh, uh, you well, yeah, so like you said, it's all reaction-based. So once I know I'm at that top of the route right there and I see him trying to come out, we just, at that point, we're running to see who can get to the ball. And, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't a good, a good enough ball to be, you know what I'm saying, catchable. So yeah, and the timing was all thrown off. Yeah, and Kareem, you mentioned, you know, getting a chance maybe to play more in the slot um, this coming season. I'm curious, has the team had a conversation with you regarding where they see you long term? Uh, I mean, uh, they just want me to just keep doing the best I am. You know what I'm saying? They uh, they very proud with the way I, I play my effort and fitness, you know. So they just want me to keep going and uh, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? They said I got a, good, I got a shot at it. So I'm going to keep learning, keep doing what I got to do. And hopefully it go my way. Well, let's, uh, let's jump into our second play here. We're going to jump into the regular season. We got a little... Uh, oh, this is my favorite play. I already know what play this year. This is the dig. <laughs> okay, okay, man. You got it down. You got it down. Uh, so, so help me... It's so smooth. This game. Uh, Malcolm mm-hmm. has been injured a few games before, so you're already down a little bit. Uh, right. Dorian Jackson gets nicked up early on, and that kind of starts to bring you in, into the fold uh, as far as getting getting a few more snaps. Uh, yeah. Did you know going into this week that you were going to get some playing time, or is that it, something where it was yeah, a so, injury and you're just kind of all of a sudden pressed in? Numbers in the secondary now for the Titans getting slim. Kareem Moore, who was brought up this week, a rookie for the agent now over there. Out is Jackson. We'll get an update on him. Second and eight. The run here by Jordan Wilkins, who burrows his way into the grasp of the aforementioned or Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? So... I knew that week that I needed to be ready, you know. So I knew that week I needed to be ready. I needed to have everything in order, all my, you know, preparation, everything. And then it just happened that Dory had went down with that little ankle injury in the game, and I got in, you know. And I just ran with it, just kept doing what I had to yeah. do. Did it feel feel good when your uh, your number gets called and then throw you in yeah. there? It's, it, it ain't nothing better than it. I, I still can't believe, like you know, because it's a lot of tradition that's been on this field. The Lucas Oil. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking up like, yeah, I'm here. And then I look back down and I lock in. <laughs> I like yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you got you got to shut them down there in the second half as you kind of came oh, yeah. on uh, and yeah. helped uh, the offense catch up and, 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 you know, obviously pull out the big win. But let's take a look at this uh, this snap here. Uh, yeah. Looks like you guys are in man, maybe single high. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, you're playing, playing off. Is that – how much of off versus press is up to you, and how much of that is the actual call? Yeah, no, it's, it's it's pretty much based off how you want to play it. You know what I'm saying? So I like you like to mix and match. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to give the same person the same look over and over again. You know what I'm saying? So when I came back that time, I feel like because I had just pressed. You know what I'm saying? Previously, so I feel like I need I wanted to get off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get some eyes, see see what I need to see. You know? Yeah, and that that actually leads me perfectly into my next question here. So. Your eyes, you, you kind of get a good perspective, you know, playing off. You, you get the view of the number two receiver and, mm-hmm. and your eye, uh, you know, number one outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you also get to see the quarterback. So, exactly. do your eyes go at the snap? Are you looking first to your man and then inside, or are you kind of trying so, to keep pulling your vision? How where, where do your eyes go first? Yeah, so right now I'm just, you know what I'm saying, watching, making sure the ball snaps. So, once it snaps, I'm automatically going, my eyes going to automatically turn back here. here. And then I'm gonna get into my soft pedal. So as you see, I'm, I'm looking back here, my eyes get back here. I'm pedaling, pedaling soft. We sit down, we break on it. You know what I'm saying? We drive on it. That's what we do for a living. And we gonna make a play. Oh yeah, absolutely. Get in there, get in there and break that ball up. Uh, yeah, we get in there. Do you feel, are you playing the sticks to some degree here? It's, uh, let's see, what do we got down to this? This second and 10 here. Yeah, so so I'm I'm really, I mean, honestly, I'm just really, I'm really playing like, like, you know what I'm saying, like tight man. So I'm, I'm, I know the sticks, you know what I'm saying? I know what they need, you know what I'm saying, what they got to get, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really just locked in on him, like nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Because in the league, how we look at it is man to man, it shouldn't, it might not be a pick, you know what I'm saying? It should either be, it should always be either a pass breakup or a tackle, you know what I'm saying? Because your eyes shouldn't be nowhere but on your man, so. Absolutely. Did you guys have a switch call on this play here? switch cost. If they if they were to give you like a rub look or, or some sort of levels concept here, uh, 
would you would you and Logan have switched there, or is that is it? Are you in kind of Meg coverage, man? Everybody? Yeah, I don't, it it would it would I don't think so because of the coverage call. So, but we do have yeah we do have those type of things, but not with that coverage. And how much how much of that is kind of you reacting and communicating with Logan pre snap versus? You know, it's, it's very yeah it's very important. That's and communication is very important, which I understood because I seen how Logan communicated. Uh, from the nickel, so if, if 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 anything like that wanted to happen, like a switch or anything like that, that would be a communication call that the nickel would have to give. You know what I'm saying? So, man, Logan was all he. I never heard nobody coming there complaining about Logan not giving the call. So, yeah, he yeah, he he was a talker out there, wasn't he? Yeah, he he's elite. <laughs> that's my that's my guy, man. That's my guy. All right, let's let us let us take a look at play number three here. Uh, mm -hmm. Tie game. Let's see. Let's set the stage here. Uh, oh, the slant. I could have picked the slant, man. <laughs> I wanted that one, man. man you man, just, you just I, need a snapshot and you got it down. Oh, my goodness, man. I wanted that one back so bad. The, the converging defender was right there. Had it been thrown in front of him, may have been picked off. All right, so tie, tie game, 17. You know, tie game. Just left in fourth. Mm -hmm. Third and three. Big, big snap right here. And yeah. uh, looks like again, you guys are kind of in, uh, in man single high. And, I and what I should have did here, because like I said, the play before that, I pressed, so I came back off. Okay. But if I decided to come off, which I knew the slam was coming, I should have, I should have, instead of backing up so much, I should have, should have like scooted up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Because I see, it, you know what I'm saying? I see it coming. The break is there. You know what I'm saying? I see it coming. I should have just, instead of keep backing up, just stay up a little bit more right there. And, mm. Yeah, I would have drove over to you even better than that, but you know when I when I watch this play, I look at it and honestly, the ball from Brissett is behind. It is, yeah, it is. Basketball. It is. And if, if he leaves him there, you might have a chance. To exactly. Make a play. Exactly. So that you're, is you're true. You're in a really well. good position there. That's almost a, a situation where a bad throw makes the yeah, play. Exactly. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So what, tell me about your eyes on this one too. Are you? Uh -huh. I mean, being third down and short, are you more keyed in on your man versus yeah. looking? Like, as you can see from the difference between the other first, that, the, the, the dig that I just had and the slant, my eyes got back quicker to him than the dig, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's, it's third and short and they need, you know what I'm saying, something quick, you know? So. And I'm curious um, uh, how quickly, or was there a tell where you realized that that receiver is not driving hard off the line? So it's likely a shorter route that you can react and take some action on. Yep, it's tempo. His tempo showed it to me. His tempo. So how he came off and when he was running, I could tell he wasn't trying to like, like really dig. And he he wanted to sit it down, come in on the slant. It's not like it didn't like it didn't look like he was trying to haul off the ball to me, you know. Like he he running, but it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not that, you know what I'm saying? It's not real right. explosive. Like I gotta get out, you know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta get down the field. Yeah, he's he's kinda already chopping. That's what I'm saying. Like already chopping, yeah. And that's what I was saying. Like, if I would have sat in there knowing that it's third and short, you know what I'm saying? It's a pig. <laughs> hey, you, uh, you got you got your first start on your belt here. So, uh, you're, you're able yeah. to, uh, <laughs> to, to leave some yeah. improvement there, you know? Yeah. Either, yeah. Way, either way, it's a good play and you're in the right position. Um, so, let's, let's take a look at this last play. This one, uh, the ball does not come your way, I don't think. Uh, I can you tell right now. I can it, yeah. it look like we in a too hot shell. Oh yeah, so uh, this this is a big play actually right here. So this is third and nine. The Colts are driving into they're in field goal range. Right. Basically. This is play before the blocked field goal that kind of turns the game, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, it's, yep, it's yep, big. Yep. You guys get off the field right here. Uh, yeah. Um, Huge. Third down and nine, Brissett. Messy pocket, here he goes, Korea chasing. Down he goes at about the 27 yard line. Nice play right there by Korea. So third and nine, what, what are you looking at? You're pressed up this time. Uh, yep. It looks like you be cover two. Uh, we ain't, yeah, something like that, a two trail, you know, something yeah. like that, so. I'm gonna automatically step inside, take away the inside, you know what I'm saying, and trail it. You know what I'm saying? So I take the inside step. I should have stayed more square, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't just shouldn't just open the gate like that, you know what I'm saying? I should have stayed square, been more physical. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get into it, you know what I'm saying? Get into the 
the trail, but okay. I got to stay more square. So you do, if if all things being perfect, you would like to get hands on here. That's it, yeah. And then the, the position that I was in, I feel like I could be a little bit more behind him just in case he run like a, a dig, you know what I'm saying? But right there, that's a that's a good, I feel like that's a good trail position, yeah. Yeah. Because you got the safety, you got the safety right there, you know what I'm saying? It's right, he right there. That's right. You're not you're not yeah. really worried about anything over the top. You're more exactly. worried about the sure. Yeah. Wow. Intermediate. Yeah, the intermediates. Gotcha. Yeah, so um one uh one other thing I wanted to uh to ask you on this. Mm -hmm. How much you know, different receivers have different releases, stuff like that. How much are you studying? How much do you know what this guy's tendencies are at, at the when you're like yeah. across from her in the game or how much are you kind of reacting to what he's done previous plays? That's, no, that's uh, what you just said is huge, huge in the NFL because every receiver isn't the same. You know, every receiver got different releases. Every receiver is different speeds, you know what I'm saying? They got different, you know what I'm saying? Different movements, they put a different foot up. So those are things that we, yeah, we do study those type of things. We study those things hard. Going into the week, you know, previous games before, looking at the opponent, looking at who we finna go against, so. When I watch this play, Kareem, one thing that I'm curious about is where your eyes are going. Because post snap, it looks like you know you jump inside a little, and I'm assuming that's because you don't want to get beat to the inside uh, right. in man coverage. Can you talk about why you don't want to? Right. So, like I was saying, we in a it's a, it's, a, it's called like a two it's like a two trail look almost. So we know that we got the safety over top. My job is to put hands on and not let him get inside. You know what I'm saying? Take away the inside completely. That's why I jumped inside, but that's what I was also saying. I felt like I should have put my hands on him, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just hopping in there like that. And, and once you realize that his route has ended um, and you're going into a scramble drill, how, how do you approach that? Are there any rules for you to follow there? Or right. is it just kind of so, backyard football at that point? I actually got you for that because my, <laughs> my effort at the end of the play wasn't as good as it was, you know what I'm saying, in the beginning. So at the end, I just need, I need to finish better because, yeah. I remember that that talk that Brave had with me. Uh, you, that, that, that was Brave? Yeah. <laughs> we had a conversation about that play. We did. I hear you. My effort, my effort should have been better, a lot better. But you're you're in good position here. Um, so one question about the safety. So you said this is this is two trails. So you're designed to get into this trail technique and kind of get in his hip pocket. The safeties are extra wide here. Um even right. wider than you would normally see from company cover to me is right. that kind of part of the coverage design uh for you guys on this on this play i mean it's just it's just for the, the two safeties to be high you know what I'm saying two high safeties and make sure nothing is you know what I'm saying you got to keep everything in front nothing over the top of y'all you know what i'm saying you, you're the last line of defense so that's how it is that's why he, you know what i'm saying you see him why because the receiver probably because the receiver took that outside release you know what i'm saying so he thinking he gotta he, he gotta relate more that way so absolutely Look, Kareem, that does it for my <laughs> questions, man. That does it for this film breakdown. We really appreciated your time, man. We learned a yes, lot sir. today. We learned a lot today about this Titans defense. Um, I think you're a young guy. You know, Mike and I think you're a young guy that really has a chance to take a big step forward this year. Thank you. Uh, there's Appreciate some room that. in this cornerback room. There's room for you to get on the field, and there's room for you to grow and contribute. And we're super excited to watch you grow this year. And we're going to do another one of these next year, man, 12 months from now. And we're going to have a couple more big plays to break down because we know you're yeah. going to Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be with it. I'm going to have them. They're going to be there. Absolutely. You know, I, and we hope you keep that study about you, man. We Next year when we do this, you better recognize the play again just from the screenshot, of course, man. Of course. Of course, man. That's, that's, you got to do that. <laughs> no doubt. Look, Kareem, again, really appreciate it, man. Best of luck over these next couple weeks. Thank you. Good to see you all, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for your time, man. Mm-hmm.